have seen the project satisfied? This one is criminal, very devastating. I think that somebody must answer questions. Very disheartening. I didn't know the seriousness of the issue. All this while. Look at what is happening here. I mean, you and I will have to pay for the loan for this particular facility. And we are leaving it to rot away. I mean, to the extent that some of the buildings have even been completed. But there are ways all over. Some of the materials are getting burnt. You have seen it for yourself. Some of the roofs, I mean, the, the storm, the wind has taken off the roof. What are we doing to Madagana? And we are still listening to excuses? This is what the MPP government inherited. Not a single block has been added to it. You have a mandate of four years. And you are almost into three years. And you are still giving excuses for completing this particular infrastructure. And people are dying. And there's so much traffic in Konfanoche. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Let's put the politics aside. I mean, somebody must answer questions. And then quickly, because we want to do PR, and as usual, MPP and DC, you have somebody to run to the site and come and meet us and say, oh, audit, and what, what. If somebody has done something wrong, the law must take its own course. The people must not suffer for that. So you are using almost three years to do audit? Do you have an idea about what we are talking about? You think that you are probably, I mean, doing a PR system to uh, water down the effect of this story? The DC says that the audit report is not necessarily indicting anybody. Do you think that your government in one way or the other is vindicated? But that is what he says. In fact, they have absolutely nothing against anybody. They are being wicked. That is what I can... I mean, apart from being wicked, tell me, what else is it? You have not indicted anybody. And look, at there are, there are materials on the ground, lying, blocks, everything lying. That at least we can even use them. Even if money is not forthcoming, we can use the materials available. And we are not doing it. Give me one word to describe this situation, if it is not wickedness. If it is not wickedness. What extent are you going to push that? Well, well, you know, the, the tools available uh, to us. We will do, I mean, press conferences. We will do statements. We will do questions. The minister must appear before the house and answer questions. When we went to the palace, you heard the, nana, the chief saying that the minister came here and gave them three weeks. Multiple of months, they have not been here, and it, it took Nananum to come and do this wedding. Everywhere is weedy. When I got here, I got shocked. It is quite disheartening. I have never seen this situation before. At least, just because somebody will take the credit. I mean, that is, if you will exhibit maturity when you continue and even hold your brother's hand to come and commission, that is where Ghanaians will hail you that you are matured. Have you forgotten what Professor Mills did at the N1? When he came to power and completed NY, he held the hand of uh, 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 President Kofor, let's go and commission it. That is an exhibition of maturity. What are they doing to us? You and I, the young ones, give yourself 20 years. Those people who are, who are, being, who are doing this wickedness to us, they will, not be, they, 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 will, they will not be alive. They will not be alive by the two of us who will come and pay for this facility. Let's get serious for once. I mean, I mean, it's quite terrible. Very terrible, my brother.